What's going on, everybody? Doug Price here from the Agave Social Club Podcast. This last episode, I had G4. Uh, G4 is as about traditional as it gets. This is coming out of NOM 1579. Every bottle has an NOM number tied to it. This is coming out of 1579 El Pendillo. This is most definitely one of my favorite distilleries. Uh, this is made by Felipe Camarena and his two sons, Alan and Luis. And I had Alan on the show talking about, man, his, his childhood, what's it like growing up as a Camarena, and then just going into the process of G4. So if you have not tried G4, I wanna highly encourage you to grab some G4. It is amazing. Make sure you listen to the episode. Uh, it was funny hearing Alan talk about when he was uh, four years old and how there are photos that someone took of him having his little finger as a four-year-old underneath the barrels as, as tequila is, is dropping through. He's just, you know, trying it and tasting it. So uh, get, getting off to an early start there, but tequila is just in their blood. Nothing crazy here. Felipe even has a saying that says something like, I'm not in the business of making beautiful bottles. I'm in the business of making delicious tequila. And that's what he does. But this is G4. You've got their symbol here for G4. Fourth generation, this is made Felipe and his sons. His sons are the fourth generation. So multi-generations happening here from father to grandfather to great grandfather. We talked through the Blanco, we talked through the Reposado. I do have uh, brand new, these are the single barrel Reposados that SipTequila.com is going to have, I think shortly. I don't think they're available yet, uh, but I was able to get my hands on a few bottles for uh, the single barrel Reposado absolutely delicious. We went through there in Yeho, and then they have three extra in Yeho's. Uh, I've got two of them here. Uh, there is a third one, which is the 55 month. Uh, all are different. This is their standard extra in Yeho. Man, beautiful color, beautiful color. Nothing added here. This is 100% additive free, uh, but just great taste. Agave is shining through on every single expression, which is exactly what they want to have happen. They're using very, very old and worn uh, barrels because they want that agave to still shine through and not be covered up by the oak or that barrel flavor. If you wanna have some uh, extremely well-made tequila, this Blanco is not expensive. I've seen, I've seen it in stores for, uh, I think, the most I've seen is like 35 bucks. It's normally in that 40, $45 range. Very, very affordable for this Blanco. Reposado, their normal Reposado is usually in that $50 range. I mean, just absolutely delicious. Sure, the XAs get, get up there over a hundred bucks, but man, they, they are worth it for a, a real treat to have something authentic, well-made. Their XAs are absolutely worth paying over $100 for. So listen to the episode. Uh, if you like these videos, do me a favor, subscribe. If you, if you listen to the episode and you enjoy the podcast, uh, this really helps me out. Go ahead and give me a, a review or a rating. Those things do help uh, for different algorithms, for as people are finding the show. So if you wanna help me out, I'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, you can do those things. You can follow me on Instagram at Agave Social Club. If you wanna learn more about G4, you can go to G4 for tequila dot life not a dot com dot life g4 tequila dot life and you can learn more about that you can purchase it i'll have a link down below for sip tequila uh, if you want to buy any of the g4 bottles but really great episode but g4 th this is one of the best thank you for listening to the episode and i want to really encourage you to check out g4 tequila a big thanks to alan for being on the show and and for all of you that listen thank you so much for being a part of the agave social club see ya